And welcome to I See the Light. I am Queen G. I am the light. Somebody is always watching me. How you always feel like somebody's watching you? When you got no privacy? Turn around and look right up in my face. Anyway, I hope this is reaching you all in good spirits and high vibrations. You're not letting anybody dim your light. I'm at the laundry mat. Okay, I had to put my visor down because this dude was smoking a cigarette. His back was turned to me, but he was actually watching me through the, the reflection of the window. He was looking straight in my face. And I put my visor down, and then that's when he moved away. So then he moved closer to the car. Then he went inside. And now this dude just pulls up and he's looking up in my face. Here he goes. Mm -hmm. Don't know about your business, bro. You're not interested, okay? Anyway, I hope this is reaching you all in good spirits and high vibrations and you're not letting nobody dim your light. Huh? It's a Monday morning. It's about 8 a.m. It's actually 7.56 a.m. And um, the early bird gets the worm, so I'm just washing a load to last me a few weeks. Wash every two weeks. I think it's something like that. I love to watch though. But anyway, said hope this is reaching y'all in good spirits and high vibrations. Here he comes back. And I'm not letting no, you're not letting nobody dim your light. Mm -hmm. Okay, so today's subject is gonna be on hatred. Hatred, okay. Um, let's just say a quick prayer. We ask God to step into our hearts right now and cleanse us and keep us keep us grounded and um and um protected. And we thank you for breathing life in us today. We ask you to protect our families as we go along our week um to work, school, or wherever we go. Please clear the path and keep us safe. Thank you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, this is going to be quick. Hatred. Okay. Hatred says it is to be like poison that is destroy. It destroys us from within. Bitterness that eats away at our hearts and mind. And it robs us of our peace. Okay. So, um, we don't need to all have hatred all the time. We got to learn how to get rid of that hatred so that we can live in peace on earth. Right. We have um, here how to handle a dispute because disputes are usually where hatred comes from. It's something like a disagreement or something, or argument or some kind of um, situation where two people don't agree on something. That's when the hatred steps in, right? Or it could just be a jealousy thing as well. So we're going to talk about how to handle a dispute. Um, it says on the first thing you need to do is own up to what part you played in the situation. Um, it's two sides to every story, right? Um, it's, it's just as a good side, a good, the good side or the bad side or the right side or the wrong side. Okay. Speak up, speak the truth. It is some, if someone hurt you and you can, you can go to them in a humble manner, ask the Holy Spirit to soften your words, to explain the pain that they caused you. Okay. And I'm going to have to say. Not very often do we get a chance to get out an apology from people because they be li they live in their ego. Their egos is like have super ero egos and stuff. And a lot of times people get real defensive when you tell them what they did to you and they don't want to own up to it, okay? So you might not get the response that you um, deserve or the response that you, you expect. So if you go and just tell someone, do not expect an, an apology back in, in return. Okay, but we are, as children of God, right, supposed to forgive. So the next one is forgive. Forgive. Sometimes it is, um, forgive. Sometimes slash must, most of the time, we have to forgive without an apology or even a person acknowledging their wrongdoings. Okay, so that's what I just said as well. And we go to God in prayer and ask God to help us to to um, get over the pain that someone caused us. And, and, and we ask God to forgive us for allowing someone to cause the pain because, you know, you can't be mad all the time at 
point the fingers at everybody and not look at, you know, what your part was in it. All right. When we're dealing with a person that's difficult, okay, or, or morally wrong, all right, and of low vibration, we ask these things to be, you know, so we can get over this. We don't want to carry some bitterness in our hearts. We got to keep our heart clean, right? We, we just prayed for a clean heart. We want a clean heart, as clean as it can be anyway. Might have some scars, some wounds. Might be a little bruised up and tattered from past experiences. But um, God's, re, you know, cleansed it. And we're trying to keep it that way. Honor God for his, for his mercy, okay, over our lives. All right, so we ask the Holy Spirit to intercede. That's number one. Number two, we pray for our self, for self-control. Do not act on emotions or be quick-tempered. Number three. Do not give anyone the power over our thoughts. Stand in our own strength, okay? And number four, whatever was sent to you, bad energy, send it back. It's not your energy. Ask God to return the um, negative energy to its original owner in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And then we have five. Uh, pray for them. Give it to God and let God work it out. Have faith that it is finished in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay? And um, now we're going to talk about taking up the cross, right? To take up the cross, to be obedient to God means to lay our strength aside, our ego, okay? Matthew 16, 24. Then said Jesus unto the disciples, if any man will come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me for whoever shall save his shall save his life shall lose it and whoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it Luke 9 23 Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up the cross and follow me. The cross is us reconciling with humanity, with God, and Jesus rose from the dead to give us all a new life in him. Amen. We have Psalms 51.10. Hide, hide thy face from my sin and, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart. O oh God, re renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from the, thy presence. And take me, and take not the Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy fear, free spirit. Okay, I'm going to say that last part. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Amen. And it says, our right spirit begins in the heart. We need to love God, okay? We're talking about pure heart. We're talking about eternal purity here in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. He had to get one good last look before he walked away. I'm telling you. We have John 17, 19. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sins in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we believe in, in Jesus Christ's name. Yes, we do. I receive it. I receive it. So if we go to someone and we we add, we, we, we rebuke them, right? Um, we scolding them for some wrongdoing to something they did. You got to understand, you know, it's not might might not come out a, a forgiveness. It, it, it might not be a forgiveness. It might be somebody, you know, pointing the finger back at you and telling you, you know, you know trying to belittle you. What do you do? Um, you walk away. Okay. You stand in your light and your power. You speak the truth and you walk away from the situation because you don't want it to escalate into something else. And some people just ain't going to be on your level, boo-boo. That's just the way it is, right? So that's the message today, basically, um, about hatred and how to handle it and how people you know, do your dirty. 
all right and you just have to be um standing in your true power with god right if god if, you, if you're walking with god you're gonna be all right um and then um you had a forgiving heart you know you won't hold grudges and just sit and dwell too long on things and let it be unhealthy to you in the end so peace love and light never let anybody dim your light stay up and stay bright for the world to see one bye